Hi, I hope you all are well and ready for some AWS Lambda and Kinesis. It's been a while since the last video now, but uh, I'll try to make new videos every second or third week from now on. In this video, we will learn how a Lambda function can subscribe on a Kinesis data stream. Kinesis is something that I personally have not that much experience with, but I'll try to give you a brief introduction to what it is and how to get started using it in combination with an AWS Lambda function. I recently stumbled across a good article written by someone called Catherine Shen, if I pronounced that correctly. It's about how to optimize your Lambda functions to work with Kinesis. So this is going to be the inspiration for my video. If you want to read the article, I'll link that below. So what is Kinesis? Well, Kinesis is a scalable and durable real-time data streaming, data collection, processing and analytics service. Kinesis is often compared to Kafka since they both are in some fashion a data streaming service. But in contrast to Kafka, which is open source, Kinesis is an AWS managed service. Of course, AWS also has its own managed Kafka service, but that may be a topic for another day. Since Kinesis is a managed AWS service, it's easily combined with other AWS services such as Lambda and S3, etc. Now, before we continue, if you find my videos interesting and want to learn more about serverless and AWS, please consider subscribing to my channel and smash that bell icon to get notified when I publish more content. So, how does Kinesis work? Well, in Kinesis, you send messages, or as it's called in Kinesis, records, into a data stream, where they can be analyzed, processed, or streamed to other services. Every record in a data stream is base64 encoded, and it can be up to 1 megabyte in size. Records can also be stored in the data stream for up to a year. This, combined with the ability for multiple applications to consume the same stream concurrently, enables us to, for example, have one application that updates a real-time dashboard based on the data stream, and another application that archives data from the data stream to an Amazon DynamoDB table. A Kinesis stream consists of one or more shards. A shard can be described as a uniquely identified sequence of data records in a stream. A Kinesis stream is built up of one or more shards. As I said earlier, in today's example, we are going to use a Lambda function as a consumer for a Kinesis data stream. In that regard, there are some numbers to keep in mind when it comes to scaling. The first thing is the iterator age. This is the time between records is available on the Kinesis data stream and a Lambda function consumes the records. This tells us if our Lambda function can keep up with the records being added to the data stream. Also, keep in mind that one single Lambda function invocation process records from one single shard. For example, if your stream has five active shards, there will be at most five Lambda function invocations running concurrently. Increasing the number of shards will increase the number of maximum concurrent Lambda function invocations, which can increase your Kinesis processing throughput and decrease the Lambda iterator age. However, increasing the shard number won't behave as good as expected if you did not set the partition key of your Kinesis stream in the right way. Be sure to choose the right partition key to make your Kinesis stream equally share the incoming data so your Lambda functions won't be blocked by one shard being busy. As described in the AWS documentation, which I'll link below, a partition key is used to group data by shard within a stream. Kinesis Data Streams segregates the data records belonging to a stream into multiple shards. It uses the partition key that is associated with each data record to determine which shard a given data record belongs to. We are almost done with the theory for today. 
Just a few other numbers to keep in mind is the default batch size when consuming records, which is 100 records. Test what works best for your application. Larger batches for smaller messages and smaller batches for larger messages. Just keep in mind the 6 megabyte limit for Lambda trigger events. Okay, so in today's example, we are going to create a Lambda function, which can consume records from a Kinesis data stream and store the data in a DynamoDB table. First, let's go over to Amazon Kinesis. Here, I'll create a new Kinesis data stream. I'll call it something like birds. Next, we must choose the capacity mode. We can choose between two capacity modes, on demand and provisioned. On demand, as the name suggests, makes our Kinesis stream scale depending on your needs. You can also choose provisioned if you know how much data is intended to pass through your Kinesis stream. In short, if you don't know how much data is going to go through the stream or the throughput is variable over time, you should probably choose on demand. If you are going to have a constant throughput of data, you should probably choose provisioned. Take a look at the pricing for these two modes to decide what suits you the best. I'll choose on demand for simplicity. Keep in mind that there is no free tier in Kinesis. With that warning out of the way, let's create our Kinesis data stream. Now that the Kinesis data stream is being deployed, we can go over to Lambda and create our Lambda function. I have, as you can see, already created a Lambda function with just a basic Lambda execution role attached to it. If we take a look at the code, I have, as in the previous video, pasted in a Python function which can write objects to a DynamoDB table. So, the first thing we need to do here is to import the Base64 library. As I said earlier, every record in the Kinesis data stream is Base64 encoded. So, we need the Base64 library to decode the record body. Next, we can write a for loop to iterate over every record in the event object we get from Kinesis. Remember, 100 is the default number of records we get. But we can of course get less than that as well. Inside the for loop, write a payload variable for the Base64 decoded Kinesis record. Then use the Base64 library to call the Base64.B64 decode function and pass along the record data located under record, Kinesis, and data. Next, we need to JSON load the payload variable since it's now just a string. So, write a new result variable and assign it the value of json.loads and pass along the payload. Now that we have our Python dictionary, we can pass it to the write to db function. And lastly, I'll print a message saying something like object successfully stored in db. Okay, now that the function is complete, we of course need to add the ion policies to enable our function to call the DynamoDB table and access to Kinesis. Go over to IAM and find the Lambda function role. First add the AWS Lambda Kinesis execution role so that Kinesis can trigger this Lambda function. Then just add the DynamoDB full access policy for the sake of this demo. We now have all the IAM policies we need. The only thing missing now is a way for Kinesis to actually trigger the Lambda function. Therefore, go over to the Lambda function again, click on Add Trigger and select Kinesis. Then select our Kinesis data stream. Let everything else be as default. But you could change the batch size and the batch window if you want. Lastly, hit Add. Now everything should be ready for testing. Oh, I almost forgot to hit Deploy. Okay, so how are we going to test if our Lambda function work? 
we need a way to send new records into the Kinesis data stream. Well, it just so happens that I have created a Lambda function that can send messages to Kinesis. In a future video, I will show you how to write such a function. In the meantime, I'll just go over to that function, which I have called Kinesis producer. I have here hard-coded a JSON bird object with the bird's name Falcon. Now I'll just hit test with some random test event, and if our Kinesis consumer application did work, there should be a Falcon object in the awesome birds DynamoDB table. So let's check. And yes, there we have our Falcon object. This means that we now have a working Kinesis consumer application that can write objects to a DynamoDB table. In the next video, we may learn about Kinesis producers, but it could also be about Route 53, since I haven't yet decided the topic. I'll let that be a surprise. Until next time, happy coding!